Hello and welcome to this new video. In this episode, I'm going to tell you some different types of goalkeeper protection. So if you don't know what I mean by that, basically different pieces of clothing you can wear protect yourself when you die from getting hurt. So let's go into the options. So I will be rating these products out of 5. So uh, obviously 5 being best. So let's get into the video. First up are a product by Puma. So these are just some long padded trousers. As you can see it has padding on the knee, the hip and then uh, at the bottom it has the ankle strap which keeps the trousers nice and tight to your leg. Uh, I haven't actually worn these as they're really big on me and I don't really like the look of them. Um, but I'll leave a link down below to, in the description to where you can buy those. So these are the Puma long trousers. I would give these a 3 out of 10 as the padding is really thin. So I wouldn't expect padding to do much. Next up is a product by All Sport. Uh, these are the 3 quarter padded trousers. As you can see it has a padding on the hips and then the uh, knees here. I have worn these quite a lot, especially uh, when I play on AstroTurf as it protects the knees from getting uh, burns and holes in. Um, I actually quite like these, but um, they're starting to get a bit smaller on me. So I rate these a 4 out of 5. Next up is a product by Keeper Sport. These are the padded thermal trousers. Uh, as you can see it does have the annual skin. Uh, which is basically a thermal on the legs. Um, fortunately, it does have a hole in the knee along with my other pair of these, but now it's summer, I don't really wear them as it's nice and hot. Uh, the reason I like these compared to some other ones I'm about to show you is that the flexibility on these is really good, whereas in a minute you'll see the other ones and the, it's just a stiff plate like that. And also this has really nice padding, uh, which is nice and thick. So I'll give those also a 4 out of 5. So this is another product by Keith Sport, and this is what I meant by this stiff place. As you can see, it hardly has any flexibility. So, um, especially in goal, you're moving your body a lot, and sometimes you can just feel a solid place on your hip. So that's why I like that one over this one. But still, the padding is really nice on this one. I'd say it's a bit thicker than that one. Um, but obviously the flexibility isn't there. This is the same thing where it has the thermals on the legs. Um, I think this is just an older model of those ones. So I'll give those also a 4 out of 5. Next up is something for your upper body. This is a Adidas padded undertop. Um, as you can see it has the padding on the elbows there. The shoulder it has a pad on there. And then um, also on the other sides there. This is... I really like this as for the summer it's re breathable. As you can see there it's just a mesh material. So um, instead of it being a thermal where you can't really wear it in the summer, you can wear this in the summer. So that's why I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. The problem with this is that the sleeves aren't tight. So if you're just wearing a t-shirt and this, the sleeves are really loose. That's why I'm only giving it a 4 out of 5. Next up is probably the best product I've ever used. This is a Roish Fimo Head Shock Absorber. So I don't think they're actually called that, but I'll leave a link down below to where you can buy these. And these are absolutely amazing. The reason why I love these is the padding is really thick. Um, and it's in the places where you need it. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but let me just take the padding out and you'll see what I mean. So as you can see, it has lots of holes in, which allows the flexibility that um, some other products don't give. But also the fact that you can take these out means that you can wash these without waiting days and days for these to dry. So once again, these are the Roish Fema Head Shock Absorber, um, and these are absolutely amazing. I wear these pretty much every training session and every shooting video you've seen on my channel, as they're just so flexible and easy to wear under shorts. And um, what I've realised is you don't really need protection on your knees, and it's just the hips that you need. That's why I've gone with these short versions compared to long trousers. So I definitely, definitely recommend getting these, and I'll give these a rate of five out of five. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you not. If you want to purchase any of these products, I'll leave the links down below in the description to where you can buy them. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.